National Geographic, well known for its striking photojournalism, is celebrating its 125th anniversary this year. They knew the occasion called for a significant photography exhibition, but at first, weren't sure exactly what to focus on. We had so much content to choose from. It was really kind of an overwhelming decision to come up with how we would do something big. So we all went away, we came back to the table with our favorite stories of the last decade and uh, an unusual number of them, we thought, were done by this new generation of women photographers. Uh, and photojournalism is traditionally a man's world, at least it has been at National Geographic. And so we said, let's do a project about that. Let's do a project about these fearless women who have gone out and brought back these amazing stories for us. Jody Cobb, one of the first female staff photographers at the magazine, remembers well what it was like when the profession was dominated by men. I spent the first third of my career trying to prove that I could do all the things that the men could do. And I didn't have any time to sort of concentrate on what I myself wanted to do or what my interests were or what my passions were. I knew I loved photography and whatever it took, I was going to do. So I was doing all the, I was doing underwater. I got certified as a scuba diver. I was doing adventure things. I was doing sports. But I was also sneaking in photographs all that time of women who were actually doing things. One of the things that I had noticed the most about Geographic when I started there, it was a pretty stodgy magazine when I started there back in the day, and um, women were always decorative objects. I remember a caption on one of the pictures that said, a pretty co-ed strolls the campus. And um, the men were always shown doing things and active, and, and, and the women were just, you know, sort of looking pretty. So I made it my secret mission on every assignment to photograph women doing things, the women farmers, uh, women ranchers, women longshoremen, women jockeys, coal miners. And I really made it a point to, uh, to, to do that. Jody is a, an amazing professional. She has worked at National Geographic for over 30 years. Uh, she is fearless. I mean, she will go out and she'll get the story, but she also doesn't shy away from beauty. She did some uh, really interesting work for us on an assignment that she did on the, on the science of love. So Jody's work is uh, expansive, and I think she has been an inspiration to a lot of the women that are featured in this exhibition. Well, it was an incredibly powerful event at National Geographic when those 11 women were on stage together and hearing their stories and hearing what they were doing. And each one was really different from the next in their issues. You know, Beverly Joubert with the, with the animals in Africa and uh, Lindsay Adaria with the, with the Afghan women. And, um, you know, all the just the different kinds of things they were concentrating on, but all with equal passion and with, with equal desire to help. And, um, and with these incredible warm hearts. Women of Vision will be on display at the National Geographic Museum in Washington, D.C. until March 9th, 2014.